Um, so you're saying uh, Santa Claus in the 80s? Yeah, it kind of, time. it kind of had seen its better days and things had changed. Um, entertainment, recreation had changed. Um, you know, it's, it's kind of, kind of paralleled the whole uh, abandonment of Route 66 and all the the hotels and the wigwam hotels and you know all the the trading post and the kitschy touristy things along 66 and now the the trip was you know part of the whole adventure and it's too bad these things have changed because now people want to get to their destination and that's it and and the getting there isn't as important uh, particularly with the development of the interstate system that bypassed all these towns uh, well the basically the same thing had happened to Santa Claus Lane earlier and so with a new owner um, a big Santa Claus and a leaky roof underneath him uh, just wasn't um, you know his cup of tea and he really wanted to just kill the Christmas theme completely once and for all and wanted to move Santa Claus well at this point Santa Claus is over 50 years old and can be considered a historic landmark and falls under um, CETA state regulations as the California Environmental Quality Act uh, under historic um, preservation so the Pearl Chase Society in Santa Barbara got involved. This society, the Historical Society, we really couldn't even get a consensus on our board of directors. Um, Santa was one of those things you either loved it or you hated it. And that was kind of the way it was here too, around the Historical Society. Half the people just loved Santa and thought he should stay. And the other half said, you know, I live above that thing and I'm so tired of looking at it and it's kitschy and, you know, it mars my ocean view and, you know, blah, blah, blah. So Santa's days were numbered. We, we looked at all sorts of preservation um, alternatives. Uh, the owners were very happy to donate it to the Historical Society and suggested we stick it on our roof here at the museum. Did they really? <laughs> they really did. And uh, I uh, and the Board of Trustees um, thankfully declined. That's, that's probably not the appropriate spot for Santa uh, once he's taken out of, you know, a side of the highway. Um, so it was the little water district uh, down in... Um, I don't know the actual name of the water district. It's near Oxnard, uh, but it's a smaller water district um, in, the, in the area down there. Uh, had a little triangular patch of land and offered to accept it and renovate it. And, and so Santa, with much uh, uh, fanfare, was moved, lifted by crane, uh, put on a flatbed truck, um, went 30 miles or so down the road and still waves to people uh, along Highway 101, although he's at ground level, he's not up on top of a building any longer. But he's, he's got a new paint job, he's had uh, uh, pine trees planted near him, um, the people in the neighborhood have kind of embraced him. Uh, there's a Santa to Ocean Run now that raises funds for underprivileged children, I believe, in, in that neighborhood. It's a rather impoverished area um, between Oxnard and Camarillo. And uh, so Santa's still spreading goodwill and uh, has, has found a new home um, and survived to this day. But uh, the Santa Claus Lane property owner's dream of changing the name um, was not allowed. It is a historic name and so it's still named Santa Claus Lane, although all vestiges of the Christmas theme have now um, gone by the wayside. And it has a lot of great other shops now and um, Rincon Catering and, and um, Rincon Market and, and Porch and, and uh, it's, it's a pretty thriving area, I believe. So it's, it's gone through its transformation and, and uh, without Santa Claus, so that's that. <laughs> um. Um, well, David, thanks so much for sharing some of your knowledge. And I know you have a lot more, but uh, I really appreciate it. And, and tell us where we are here at the museum. Well, you're, you're very welcome, Larry. It's been my pleasure to help uh, share a little bit of uh, historic fact on, on some of these important topics for our city's uh, 50th anniversary. Um, anybody wants to learn more about the city or the Carpentry Valley in general and certainly going back uh, 300 years, not just 50, um, please come visit the museum. We're at 956 Maple Avenue. Uh, we're open Tuesday through Saturday, 1 to 4 in the afternoon 
and um, any other project or research, just give me a call and we'll set something up. Okay, thanks a lot, David. You're